I've prepared a series of challenges, and for each one I don't do, I will be donating $100 to No Panic, a charity organization that helps support people with anxiety-related disorders. Okay, so the first piece of paper. Eat a spicy pepper. Oh god. So I googled not just any pepper, but the hottest pepper in the world, and I found the Carolina Reaper at 2.2 million Scoville. It's official. I have lost my damn mind. I can smell that from here. I really don't want to do this, man. I, I don't. Oh my god. It says here, Scoville scale 1.7 million to 2.2 million. That is insane. That is the equivalent of this. This is the hard part because on the one hand, I want to do it and say I've overcome this fear of eating something super spicy because I've done it before. On the other hand, I don't want to have to deal with the aftermath of whatever pain comes from this. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. I will. Oh, the smell is so strong. Okay, use with extreme caution, handle with gloves. Oh snap, okay. I need to need to be wearing gloves with this. You're right back. It's really that bad that I have to wear gloves. My hands don't want to go inside this glove. Oh my God, that took forever to put on. Now, you know what? We're gonna go Michael Jackson. Just one hand. I've got my Ben and Jerry's with me and I've got my milk. I'm stressing, <laughs> I'm stressing. Oh my God, it looks so dry. Oh my God. Why did I think this video was a good idea? I don't know. You know what? What if I just... You know what? It's gone. It's in my palm. <laughs> this is going to be the most painful thing I do in this video. Wish me luck. Three, two, one. Oh. Chewing it, right? I don't know. Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh. I hit me. I cannot. Oh, it's not going away. I want to speak, but every time, oh, every time I try to speak, the burning sensation, I feel the burning sensation in my tongue again. I can't speak. I don't feel good at all. No, that's not, that does not feel good at all. I'm stressed. This isn't even a fear. This is just pain. This is just torture. Why is this on the list? Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Smile and wave, boys. I feel like I'm high. Oh, my nose is running. I need a tissue. Oh, oh it's on the decline. Oh, I'm fine. Cool. Oh, it's finally okay. I'm okay. I had to put tiny. <coughs> I took a tiny bite. Look, look how tiny of a bite I took. That's the bite I took. Look at that. Oh, and I'm throwing the rest of these peppers away. I don't think I'm ever gonna touch those again, but we did it. Took us a minute, but we did it. I wasn't ready for that pain, you know? My milk is finished, my ice cream is melted, and I have just conquered a fear. I've had spicy stuff before, but this time, this time was so, so much worse because it was directly from the pepper and not some kind of sauce. This is definitely the spiciest thing I've ever had so far. Oh, never make me do that again. Please. Lose a hundred dollars. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually very afraid of losing money, so... To save a hundred dollars, I'm gonna lose a hundred dollars. Ouija board at a haunted house. <laughs> Hell no. Solve a Rubik's Cube in under one minute. I can do that, I think. Hold the reptile. Oh god, here we go. 
I'll be real with you, I had no idea where to start. So I ended up Googling it and I found this one animal handling experience. Uh, I clicked on it, it turned out it was a zoo slash experience called Get to Know Animals. And what they do is teach you about animals and blah, blah. I'll be real, I haven't been to a zoo in many, 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 many years. So I was kind of freaked out, kind of looking at half of these things. Oh, a bunny. You know, some of them were cute. Some of them were a bit terrifying. It was a bit of an unusual experience because I don't usually go to zoos, you know? To be honest, everything was fine until this parrot started G-checking me. Hello. Okay. Let's turn around this way. That's it. Yeah, right, we're gonna just sanitize our hands. Thank you. We're gonna make Heather. Okay. And Heather is a boa constrictor. Okay. okay. So she's a professional cutter. That's it. What's she doing around? So you can feel just how strong she is. Oh wow, yeah, I can feel the right. strength on her. <laughs> so these guys, any any python that becomes longer than nine foot gets classed as a category one animal. Right. Oh, she's very strong. I can kind of feel yeah. the strength on her. Oh boy, she's turning. She's obviously <laughs> holding on. So if you just let go with that hand, she can hold herself. And you'll oh, she's very strong. Oh, she's turning. <laughs> You're all right. She's fine. How tight is that around your wrist at the moment? That is, it's not too tight. I can feel it though. It, yeah. it doesn't want to let me go. Considering it's my first experience, it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. But the more you just try and relax into it. Yeah. I can feel her tongue on my thigh. Yeah. Yeah. Just sniffing the air, working out if it's a rat or anything. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's very oh I feel a, oh my on the side of my body. <laughs> I think what I had in mind when I came was very different to what actually happened. <laughs> I, I thought I would I thought I would come across some hissing or something <laughs> something terrifying. The hissing sound is is generally them sort of warning, yeah. saying they're angry or they're hungry or they're looking for something. Yeah. yeah. They, and if you don't hear them doing it. Obviously, don't go around and start hissing to a snake. I, I wasn't. Do you want to fight, right? I wouldn't do that. But she's she's actually just quite vocal. Well, well, uh, I didn't catch your name. Rob. Rob. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. If you share that everywhere, I would appreciate it. Of course, of course. You know what I realized about fear? It's always scary up until you get to the other side of it. And then you realize. Trains in. You put so much energy into being afraid. But in reality, it was never that deep. Go skydiving. Suck your mum. I hate heights. I don't like being so high. Despite all of that, I would still love to skydive once in my life. So I booked a tandem skydive, a jump which would have me 12,000 feet in the air with the free fall being 40 seconds long. My Uber driver couldn't believe it, so I begged him to pray for me as we headed towards a village in Ashford called Headcorn. And you could probably hear it in my voice that this entire experience was making me lose my mind. For those of you that have been around for a while, you know that heights are my biggest fear. I can't think of anything I'm afraid of more than heights. Skydiving? What the hell was I thinking? While I was waiting, I sat there watching skydiving TikToks, which either made things better or worse. I just had a cheese sandwich. It's sitting in my stomach. Fingers crossed it stays in my stomach by the time I land. I am trying to overcome my fear of heights. Okay. So I will do my best to just be in the zone, let it happen. I'm you, excited for it. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. You're apprehensive. If you're not afraid, you're not having fun, don't worry. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> All right, perfect. We'll see you in the sky. Oh. The second I got on that plane, there was no going back. My heart began pounding faster the moment I realized there was only one way down. This is the most afraid I've ever been. The most fear I've ever felt. There was nothing left except... Jumping off that damn plane. 
then after that first second, it is pure freedom. I was looking straight down. I wasn't afraid of a thing. This is incredible. Being up here and looking down at that is what I've been afraid of my whole life. And genuinely, in that moment, I've never felt like so free in my life. I just feel like I'm flying. And it felt fantastic. This is something I've been afraid of doing for a large chunk of my life. And knowing that this is what the experience was like the whole time, this is what I would have missed out on if I was too afraid to do it the whole time. I'm like, if there's any proof I needed that anxiety was holding me back from like the best experiences in the world, it's this, you know? The idea that I could have missed out on this because I was too scared. Oh, nice. Awesome. Incredible. <laughs> I'm glad I did, and I absolutely, absolutely 100% without a doubt would go skydiving again. I have officially skydived. Go on, how was it? Honestly, like, the whole time going up there, I was like a little afraid, but you were confident, so I was confident. And I feel like now that I've overcome this, I can overcome anything. This has been my biggest fear for the longest time. Mate, you absolutely smashed it. Like you said, you pushed past a massive fear barrier there. Thank it's you. It's a pleasure to do it with you. The question is, would you do it again? I'll absolutely do it again. You <laughs> would. Yes, legend. Yeah. Pleasure jumping you. Thank, Thank you, so you very much. much. Woo! And just like that, I finally faced my biggest fear. Hello? 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 Welcome to Bunny. Oh, so I was a Yeah. Also. Ah, just so I could be the same with the Khambira. I know, I know, Kwa. Tango, I was a kid, Khambira, like in a Khambira. I love you too. Thank you. Love you, Baba. Huh? Can you Yeah. Thank you. And that's a. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, just like a here though, and uh, I'm gonna make you proud. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. The the and then I'll I'll get it. Yeah. Okay, bye. 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 Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, Nicole, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to call and say, no, uh, um, I haven't said it, don't go with Jabba, like, any, I love you, ma. Huh? Squad, don't go with Jabba, like, any, I love you, ma. Me, oh, I love you, too. I want to hug you so much. And, uh, what made you say that, Mona? I'm going to make you proud. Oh, Nicole. Oh. What made you say that? I love you, man. Come hug me when you come. Yeah. Okay. Okay.